there she is guys what's up i uh didn't include you on the like five and a half six hour drive to calibrated power solutions but we are here so uh stay tuned for that <laughs> home from calibrated power it was probably about a 13 maybe 13 and a half hour round trip over 850 miles uh but it's so worth it the girlfriend and i went to chicago before i went to calibrated power dropped her off at the airport so she could come back and get to work um she doesn't like the whole truck stuff anyway she hates my truck but what are you gonna do i guess that means i'm doing it right though right i don't know anyway um truck did awesome on the dyno didn't make the power i was wanting it to or expecting it to uh have some questions of whether my uh compounds are it's a stock over a 475 questions about whether it's really a 475 or not um uh, tuner said that it looks smaller than um others that he's seen and the power numbers kind of reflect that it made 652 at the wheels with uh 1371 torque so the torque is like way up there and I have plenty of fuel with the 10 mil pump and the 60% uh, injectors in there to fuel 800 plus horse. So uh, I'll probably be looking at a turbo upgrade here. And the next couple months, I got a uh, wedding to plan. My girlfriend's now my fiance as of a couple weeks ago. And, uh, you know, I'm probably be buying a house not too long after I get married and Christmas and things come in. So. Uh, buying big parts probably gonna slow down a little bit but uh, got the dyno run here and I'll put the the dyno sheet so the numbers are actually posted in the video uh, right after the dyno run and you know like I said there's big things to come we finally have a uh, numbers on the truck so we know where we are and where to work toward um, like I said a little bit disappointing but still 652 horsepower at the wheels so uh, super enjoyable to drive super uh, big step up from what it was before the injectors and the pump just a few months ago so you know i like doing it in stages that's what this whole truck is for um i've had it for three years i've done things just as i go as a you know it's a daily driver at the moment um so next thing i'll probably be looking for is is a beater car to drive around every day so if you saw my last video um with the cp3 install well that stupid plastic access cover that goes on the front cover for the engine i over torqued it and it broke so i put jb weld on it well that's a five and a half hour drive to chicago from here so it decided to let go in springfield so i'm stuck on a sunday with a dealership only part that i can't get so i have to fix it and so I JB welded it again, and then I throw some duct tape on top of that, and I, you know, it held the rest of the way. But sometimes you just got to do what you got to do to get where you're going. I'm not paying for a tow truck and all that stuff with something that I can fix. Now I was stuck for two hours while the JB weld set up and cured and everything because I didn't want it to break again, you know, 30 miles down the road. But things happen, and it was my fault. So I was pissed, and my fiance was a super trooper about it and didn't complain one bit and you know she didn't want to be stuck there any more than i did probably less than i did but um we hung there through it and we patched it until we got over to uh, chicago and then calibrated power they had one waiting on me uh overnighted it for me super nice and um 
yeah, so <clears throat> also um, with the power numbers on the truck, could we push it further? You know, the turbo is a limiting factor now, so could we push it further? Yeah, could we push everything to the limits? Yeah, but this one thing about calibrated power that I haven't heard from anybody else is like, we're going to tune it. We're going to get some good numbers out of it, the best that we can get with keeping it at a safe level. So, you know, especially with this being a daily driver right now, I need it to last. I need the longevity out of the motor and all the other parts. So once I upgrade the turbo and it's safer to push it to a further limit, then we're going to do that. But for now, you know, like I said, it's fun to drive. So we'll just keep it where it's at and turn it up later. No problem. Well, another thing, guys, uh, I know I said I was disappointed in the numbers that the truck made. I mean, I'm, I'm honestly happy with the torque. It's more than double the horsepower, which normally with diesels, it's about double, a little bit less than double, but um, I was well over double torque than horsepower. So really happy with that. And also, I don't know if that really shows. I think it shows, you know, there's room to grow. Um, I'm just out of air. So, you know, once I get a, a bigger atmospheric charger or maybe an s480 or something then uh i'll be well over 750 possibly creeping up towards 800 uh which is really as far as i would ever want to take the truck and i say that now everybody wants more once they get more and it just it's an it's a never-ending road but with that being said guys um you know another thing is like from dyno to dyno the numbers are going to be completely different so that was on calibrated powers dyno and who knows if it would be more or even less. Uh, I hope it wouldn't be, but it could be less uh, on another dyno on another day. So um, that's why I really like to stick to track numbers and I haven't run this setup at the track yet. Um, right when I did the twin setup and I was completely stock fuel, not even a lift pump on 35 inch tires and 25 12s, it ran a 13.5. With being a mega cab, that's pretty good. So. Uh, I'm anxious to see after this winter's over what what the truck runs, but um, they are absolutely amazing, super hospitable. They know that I drove a long way. I didn't have a car, and I know some people don't like, you know, you hanging out in their shop all day while your truck's getting worked on and yada yada yada. But they, you know, they have a TV there, and so you can watch TV, free Wi-Fi, or. They let me use their employee kitchen to eat lunch when you know I had to order a pizza because I couldn't drive anywhere and they just bent over backwards to help me out and accommodate me and I cannot speak more highly of them. Another thing is Chris Imke at Calibrated Power, I've always dealt with him. I started dealing with him because he had the exact same truck as me. Uh, his was a single cab, mine's a mega cab, but it was an 06 and he knows them and he knows what works, what doesn't work. And he also deals with customers day in and day out that have 06s. I mean, 0659 is like one of the most popular trucks because it was pre-emissions and um, it's it's the newest pre-emissions that you can get. Plus the 5.9 is just a tried and true motor. Um, don't give me crap for what the truck made. Um, should it make 750? Yeah, it should. I have the fuel for it. I just apparently don't have the air for it. And if I had a single 75 on here, would it make 750, 800? Yeah, it probably would. But the spool would be terrible. The drivability would be terrible. And this is a daily driver. So I want it to spool quick. And once you look at the sheet for the, uh, for the dyno, it's making 600 plus all the way from like 2200 RPM to 3300 RPM. That power curve is pretty flat and it is a dream to drive. I have tons of power throughout the entire RPM range rather than a steep incline and then it just drops off like if I had a single. So uh, I just punch it from a light or whatever and it goes. It takes no time at all to light and it, it's honestly amazing. If you're thinking about doing a large single or compounds for a daily driver, I definitely do compounds. It might be a little bit more expensive up front, but it's certainly worth it. Stay tuned for what's to come. Uh, a lot of things coming through the winter that I that I can do. You know, I got some light upgrades coming and um, be shopping around for turbos. But like I said, I have to save up money for that. So uh, stay tuned for all that.
please like and subscribe this video and let me know what content y'all want to see comment below uh, what your thoughts are on what i've done so far and and what i can do to improve uh, the channel and the truck as well see ya